so there is really no difference between riding with a bit or without a bit. Um, it's very similar and uh, the only difference is that the pressure comes now from the nose and not from the mouth. Um, often when I do clinics, I often do clinics with like dressage riders or jumping riders and um, what I always get told after one of these clinics where people get uh, allowed to try to ride with a bitless bridle is that my horse was riding better. My horse was collecting itself better, it was lifting up its back better, it was easier to stop, easier to back up. How can it be? And um, a lot of people, a lot of time people say my horse was like being more sturdy with his head. Instead of doing like this all the time, it was doing like this. Because we don't disturb them all the time in the mouth, we're not like, every time we do a little bit with our reins, then we're disturbing them in their movement pattern and we're disturbing them in their mouth. So we give them ease as soon as we don't have anything in their mouth and we're able to communicate with them in a more pure way. Um, yeah, there's no difference at all when the horse gets used to it. But in the beginning, then the horse can be a little bit confused about the signals and we can help the horse by like, when we turn, take our hand out to the side and turn, take our hand out to the side because the signal and the pressure don't longer come from the mouth. It comes from like, I take this rein, comes from the side of the head. Take this rein and it comes from the side of the head. Okay. Um, and then when your horse gets used to it, then you just ride completely normal, like you would in any other bridle. Again, your horse is so sensitive, it can feel a fly. So of course it can feel that you communicate with it in a bitless bridle. Good. <laughs>